hear this here. All right, everybody. Welcome hey. to Science Show, Nate and Dan Straight with the South of the Straight Show. We have um, we have to we have also, uh, of course, technical fucking problems that are going on right now. So the uh, the internet is uh, kind of being a uh, son of a bitch. And I think Dan, you were talking about this just before the show, actually. That yeah, the, uh, actually, I'm watching the show uh, on YouTube or whatever. We're recording the show right now, right. so that's good. So you're using the Wi-Fi stop, right but now, but I am using. The Wi-Fi on my phone and on I my camera. I wonder why the internet's going to shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have, so we got all of our Wi-Fi on. I'm turning so, my Wi-Fi off of my phone now because hopefully, hopefully it's going to be uh, working maybe properly. Maybe I should turn. What was yeah, I try turning your Wi-Fi you off. Just maybe, go to the network. It's like maybe to maybe we network. are actually hogging up the. Uh, the We're network the ones right causing now. the problem. Could be. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. No, I, it's just um, the area that we live in here has become overcrowded with people. It seems that you know the the roads right. are jam packed all the time. It used to be you know Cherry Festival. We'd come around. Everyone was like, "Man, Cherry Festival traffic." But it's is so the weird, worst, right? Like, well, guess what? It's that all the time now. Earlier, I was I was testing the I was testing the internet earlier, and I you know I come in early to make sure the entire systems everything's working right yeah. and properly. Everything was great. Everything was working just like it's supposed to be fucking working. And as soon as we fucking get to this place, and, you yeah, know, then this, three this time. four extra people turned on their internet yeah. and started looking I at don't something. Know, maybe, and it's something. Like this, like that, the but, system is so overloaded by so many people here all using internet internet at once that like I, I i switched over to the local network still it's just nothing yeah it's a it's so a it's a damn the wi-fi shame. here but the, we are recording this so we'll be recording this uh this podcast tonight as well as uh you know i'll upload it after the uh after the show yeah. i'll take the, have to do that yeah, um unfortunately that's just the way that things roll sometimes <laughs> Um, but we are going to be chatting with uh, Mag Dillon as well as uh, uh, Nuke and the Night Shift, a couple bands Boom. from the Oscoda Rock Fest that is coming uh, in uh, August here. Uh, that's just yeah, shit. That's it's like creeping event. right up, dude. Like I just I didn't realize that like it's just like a month away right now. It's a, yeah. it's just a, under a month away. Um, it, it's crazy how fast it, can, it like another year came and went. August is here, yeah. Is that crazy August to is you? Here and fucking gone. Like it, or, our the, studio, we as, made, as soon as the, made... the cherry festival happens, it's done. You know, like that's when. Uh, even though we still have the we have the fair left, we have the the Northwest the fair. Michigan fair. Northwest Michigan. But yes, I'm freezing up, we, babe. I we know. made it's... a we made a couple commercials for us go to Rock Fest. We did. I did. I know. Uh, you did, but I'm, I mean, uh, I, th- I think Coke Hogan was in one. Co- the coaxer was in the one last year. Yeah, he yeah. was in the last year's one. But this year I'm he wasn't. Saying, in, it was doesn't Beavis it seem like it. we just made that one too. Yeah, that like, was just it yeah, went by so fast. Like it was just what recently. Um, yeah, we are freezing up quite a bit, unfortunately, tonight because uh, the, uh, the lovely internet. It's just the way that things roll around here. I know. Yeah, can you even hear the audio? Let us know if you can hear the audio at least. Maybe if the uh, if the audio is working. Dude, I'm watching. Uh, it's just spinning on the internet. Is it really? Right it's not even fucking doing anything. It's not anything. It's chopping. And spinning. Let's see Chopping if I. I mean, if I if I stop it now, it's going to have to restart, and then it's no. going to be a completely different stream and all that shit. Well, I wonder how how uh, the live chat's going to do. Well, I mean, obviously the live chat is still working. People can converse with us on the live chat. <laughs> I mean, they're 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 sending that through to us, but uh, at the same okay. time, it's. But well, we, like we I said, we're going to be we're recording this. This is being recorded right now. So um, when when you when we get to the recorded version of this, I'm, I'm going to upload it. Everything is that is being on here right now. You may not see it uh, that well, but the recorded version should be coming through just fine. So sweet, we're yeah, good. To we'll, go. we'll, we should be good on all of that. So um, I'll make it happen, people. Don't worry, dude. I'm uh, I get this uh, this computer shit all locked down. It's not even our computer. It's it's the, not the computer. It's, it's, the, it's internet. the internet. It's the fucking internet. It's uh, you it's know not, unfortunately none of this stuff works right without internet right everybody's internet is slow around here and uh that's that's michigan man that's uh that's the life that's that's what we got we had with. the old dt in here earlier you got him donald up? trump was in here earlier yeah yeah he's he singing came. a couple of jams <laughs> that's what, he, what do you call them some tunes or something he called them tunes yeah yeah let's see what uh it was horrible. Really, well, like, hopefully, oh, I mean, it was great. <coughs> you know Sorry, what? I, I do want to say this too. Like, uh, if anybody is able, see now I froze. But if anybody is able to, um, 
uh, here. Just let us know if you can hear the uh, the audio. If you're if you're listening, then that's that's even you know you got to use the uh, the theater of the mind. That's kind of the, 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 the way that it yeah. works. But the the video will be show. back. So if you're if you're tuning in tonight to check out Nuke and the Night Shift as well as like uh, Mag Dillon and stuff, we'll upload the video after this. You know, we'll we'll upload a full podcast as soon as the live is over. Yeah, yeah as soon like, as the live version is we'll over, we'll upload the recorded version. It's a son of a bitch when shit like this happens. But recording is the last stop. ditch after. Can't you know, let it stop gonna, us. It's yeah, just going to be gotta, two hours late. Well, you get people that are yeah, you, you get people that are like tuning in and expecting it, and then they're the unfortunately they got to tune in and they got to watch this shit. You know, and the fucking the right. internet's just crapping out all the time. So I'm going to contact the Chada people again. Definitely contact Chada. Get a and hold see, of Chada. See what's happening Goes with Chada from, over there. Yes. I mean, let me see Those if uh, I wonder if even like uh, the uh, the internet, so I can fuck with that or some shit at some point. Maybe want to we'll watch this. You need to get back thing. to that that screen though, because I'm watching that intently for people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got to find that you're meeting here. Um, yeah, I will, uh, let me, let me right now, really quickly, just fucking, we'll, we'll watch Donald's thing here. See if DT, we can he came in the, the studio, uh, he did, he like laid down some freestyle. He did, he laid down some stuff, check this out. Oh, check. hey, we've been over here all day, and we've been uh, playing some tunes, okay, here we go. Oh, Rosie, oh, Rosie, what's the problem, okay, Name. Oh, Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell, huh? You, you, what's the problem? What's the problem, okay? I'm in a little place. If you look behind me, this is out the window of my Airbnb in China, okay? China, 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 okay? China, China, okay? China! Oh, Rosie. Okay, it wasn't me, Rosie. Believe me, okay? Believe me, okay? If you really think about it, if you really think about it, it's the real deal, okay? It's the real deal, that's right. Big League, okay, here we go. Believe me when I say Sleepy Joe, okay? Mm -mm. Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, didn't know I could sing Sleepy Joe, believe me, okay, okay, <laughs> he's a real loser, okay, he's bottom of the barrel, believe me, okay, have a good night, oh, ye of little faith, huh? Oh, Sleepy Joe, he sat on a wall, okay. Oh, Sleepy Joe, he had a great fall. Great fall. I was there. I witnessed it. It was a terrible thing. All of his henchmen, his generals and them, they couldn't put old Sleepy Joe back together again. Believe me, when you see him talk, you'll know he's cracked in the head, okay. Oh, Sleepy Joe. Oh, Sleepy Joe. Where in the fuck have you been, you sleepy dumb motherfucker? Here we go. Ha! That was my Jack Black impression, okay? Nice one, Don. Back to the that was Don camera. right there, yeah. Don, yeah. Don, Don, DT, uh, DT in, as we like to call okay. him sometimes, man. He did he, a good uh, job. <laughs> <for us. laughs> yeah, Don's, Don's a man, man. Um, yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, if you can't watch right now, uh, as uh, Jess, my, 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 uh, my wonderful lady out there is watching right now. Um, she's um the the internet is just a crap right now. Maybe we can we can. Tr what, I don't know what to do about it. I mean, really, you know, when it comes down to the internet, running like shit. Either like this, we get the stream or we don't. We and it was no seriously stream. like earlier. I was running everything. Everything was just fucking smooth as butter, man. And then it it's just crazy, it just crapped out. And I don't I don't know. I don't know what to say. Unfortunately, I mean, you gotta I know quit talking got, about it because we are recording are this. Well, we've got people that are tuning in to watch the bands that are going to be getting interviewed and all that stuff. They don't know the information of that we're recording. Maybe it'll because. get better. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky or something like that, and it'll actually come back. But I don't I don't know. This internet has been just the, the freaking biggest nightmare up my ass for the past, I don't know, month. You know, like yeah. it's been it's been just fucking one thing after another after another. It's been another. crazy. So, I got a crazy month ahead of me. I'm getting ready to leave. 
taking <laughs> off out of here. Yeah, fuck, man. Going on vacation. Well, no, we got we you, you you're going on vacation, yeah. But I mean, maybe uh, right. uh, during that time while you're on the vacation, I mean, maybe I'll uh, I'll take that time to try to get the internet working again. You know, like try to find somebody to. Uh, I don't know. Do what he's supposed to fucking do out there as far you know, when really? I when I contact I, Charter. You know I just I honestly think that it's an overloaded system. Or is it man. throttled? You think maybe it's getting throttled or something yeah, like that? I maybe just, like I don't think there's anything they can do about it. Until yeah, our they upload can speed in, right now is zero. Like we have right. zero for our upload speed. I, I download swear, dude, speed for the last couple weeks almost now. Yeah. A- absolutely all of last week. This is ridiculous. Bit of the week before, before, during ch- Cherry Puzzle and everything. Yeah, I think Dude, my I, internet, even on my phone, it's so laggy and everything. Just I mean, maybe the internet. I can understand with the. Uh, I can understand with a lot of people coming around Traverse City at the that's, time. That's you know, maybe that would make sense. But now, you know, it, we're we're done with that. that. That shit's done for the most part. There's a lot of people that have left, and it wasn't even really that busy in, the, in Traverse. I mean, I mean, it was a there must have been just enough fest. people to come to kind of. And I think just enough people stayed. You got to understand, people don't just come for Cherry Festival. They're coming for all kinds of different activities, man. They're coming to camp and fish and true like, dat. Even if they're not necessarily from Traverse City, but just the outskirts. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? When those people dump into town every day too, it's yeah, like all the yeah, jobs are I in guess. Traverse. I live in Buckley, but all but I work in Traverse. Well, we I love, live in Williamsburg, but maybe I live we in should Tra- stop. Every, you know, around. yeah, like you said, the first fifteen minutes of our fucking show now has been <laughs> just us bitching about the internet. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a lot of people to you know. We are recording, maybe so we, we'll, we we'll have we need more it. towers to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, no, but we we got to fight the man. Um, I think the <laughs> man's the one putting the towers up, bro. Bro. Come up. So, Come Dan, up, you're, you're going off to uh, where? Are you going off to Myrtle Beach, right? Yeah. Myrtle Beach for nine yep. days. Fucking, what does what, what yeah. it say? Uh, you ever been to Myrtle Beach? Uh, South Carolina, I haven't been there. No. I, I'm, no. A, I'm excited to you're go. You're a traveling man. I know that you you and your, you and the lady, yeah, you, we you do guys travel like quite to a bit. get around and all that stuff. You go on vacation That's every awesome. year, bro. It's pretty normal for people to do. I wish that I could. I wish that I could, man. I, I don't I don't myself. I'm not able to to uh, accomplish those goals right now. <laughs> That's okay. All, but all, at some point, all, maybe. All my kids are like late teenager kids, so it's like, bye. Right, right. Or come with us. Actually, we're bringing them with us on this one. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah Nine right. days I'm going to be out of here. I'm really excited about this band, though, tonight. I, I've been checking out some of the stuff about Mac Dillon, you know, like the uh, the background yeah. of them and stuff. And uh, let's go to their website, actually. You go to uh, magdillon.com is where you want to go. Um, go to magdillon.com, check out all their stuff over there. If they your got internet's of- working, do that. Yeah, well, I mean, I can. St- this is the weird thing is I can still go on to the internet and I can download things. Like I can, do- the downloading speed is great, but the upload, I can't upload a damn thing. You know, like there's no. This is crazy, man. No upload I'm speed turn whatsoever. Turn my internet back on, and see if that does anything to help the show. I actually turned your entire computer off. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, I can allow it again though. Here oh no! Go. Here, look. I'll let I'll let this. I'll take it back off on my device. Okay. My okay. Okay. Or whatever. Uh, anyways, the uh, the band Magdalene coming out of uh, Virginia, actually Virginia Beach. Uh, so that's where where I was kind of like going towards where the uh, the you're going, to Myrtle, yeah, yeah, you're going to Myrtle Beach. Yeah, yeah. You're going to Myrtle Beach, and uh, you know you got Virginia Beach. These these folks right here. Are, they can tell me some stuff about Myrtle Beach, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, Susan though the uh, the lead singer of this band though she's got um we, we I we I was chatting with her earlier. Okay, were you here at the time? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, were you here. were here. Um. And um, she's uh, the the band. The way that they they do everything is fucking. I don't know the way that every band has to be. I think they live together. Right. You know, they they right. have their house that they all live in the house together, and they fucking it's dedication. You know, yeah, create the music out of the fucking. You know, that's the fucking way to do it, dude. You if if you're gonna. Yeah. If you're gonna create the music every single day, you know, you, you every day you've got to be thinking about what you're what you're that's gonna be doing job. next. Yeah, that's your job. That's your life. That you're fucking living. If you guys and aren't making music, you're not going out and you're not doing shows to pay your rent on your house that you all live on. Off of the, yeah, yeah, off of the music. You, you know I mean, I if mean, you think about it, that's the best way to like to run it as far as like. You know, if we all live together, we all are getting the same. Like, this band's making this much money. Here's our money. Do we, yeah. you know, divide it all up between us for whatever gig? You know, right, right, we're right. keeping this much. Everyone throws in for their rent. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, the gigs pay the bills. 
pays but, for our food, our electric, our everything, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what you know. You gotta you gotta fucking think of it that way. You gotta think of it as this that's is dedication my, to this live is in my a career. Like this that. is my life. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, it's more than Pretty just cool. getting the neck tattoos, you know. It's, you just yeah. you can't just get the neck tattoos and and face tattoos. You actually got to live like the that life. Fucking rock it out, you know. Right. Yeah, you got to live that shit day in and day out, and and get, me- mentally life. and and control like it men- with a with a business attitude, you know, control it in a business sense at all times, you know, like think it forward for yourself for a five year plan type thing. Sure. Yeah. If, if um, we do this many five years, we make this much money. We right. Be right. Here. Right. Yeah, but they're coming to the uh, coming to the, the Oscoda Rock Fest, man. Right. This is uh, this is gonna be cool. This band is coming all the way up here from uh, from the um, as I said, Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach area that, down south. Uh, coming up here, a little old northern Michigan, little old little Oscoda there to uh, to rock it out, man. But actually, Oscoda they got some great bands that are coming there. Saving Abel, uh, they got Tantric that's gonna be happening that that night. I mean, there it's gonna be a fucking phenomenal time over there at Oscoda. Uh, the yeah. rock, the rock fest of all. Um, yeah, but yeah, for sure, man. It's it's always a good time. It's a big show. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've got big national acts that come to it, man. It's huge. Well, no, 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 no. Then the um, what's the uh, Catharsis Theory? Uh, they they they're one of the bands that's going to be playing there. Yeah. And they actually they're- just got done with uh, the Upheaval, Upheaval Festival. I don't know if you've noticed on the uh, the Upheaval Festival, but there's a whole shitload of Northern Michigan and uh, Southern Michigan bands. Uh, Heartsick yeah, yeah. was on there. Nagazi was on there. Fucking, uh, I was just you know, seeing something about that. Yeah, dude, it was a, it was awesome, awesome dude. They fucking they rocked it out, dude. So that's cool, man. Thank you guys for fucking going out there and representing Michigan, man, and uh, representing all to all the the fans out there. That really, I mean, if you think about it, yeah, there's a lot yeah, of the fans right. that are showing uh, up for all the other bands and uh, Heartsick. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw I saw a post. You got this. I, you got this band out there, like uh, like Catharsis Theory, or even Nagazi, and even Heartsick. You know, at yeah. a giant festival like that, opening up for. I remember when I was going to see the you know the uh, Tattoo of the Earth tour back in the day, and fucking. Um, there were bands that I was watching off on the side stage that mm-hmm. were fucking almost better than some of the bands that were up on the rail stage, you know, like up yeah. on the big stage. And there was band on the on bands on the big stage that were fucking, you know, just phenomenal too that you never heard of. Right. That's what that's what these bands are. That's what Catharsis Theory and fucking you know Heartsick. Yeah, they get you, to play in front of all these fucking these potential get fans. Exposed yeah, to get some that, serious exactly, potential fucking, fans yeah. that haven't gotten the chance to hear hear who they are. And I've seen the I've seen the videos. Uh, that, Al- Alfonso, uh, he was uh, rolling all through the fucking crowd, like up on top of a giant banana, and um, yeah. Yeah, he was holding on to an inflatable banana, fucking screaming and fucking right doing his, his shit on the fucking yeah, dude. It's a badass. For sure, shit. no, they're a, they're a sweet band, Heartsick. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they got some. Or good is shit. it Heartsick US? Or did he get, I think it's just Heartsick, heartsick now. Sick. I think it's just Heartsick. I don't think it's Heartsick US anymore. I do believe that. Oh, who we got there? What's going on back there? Oh, hey, Je- look at Jesse. Jet ski in the house. <laughs> Jesse just showed up, man. This is uh, no shit. This is uh, Dan's yeah. Dan's best man here. Actually, this is uh, yeah. you, um, old Jesse. We're trying to run with everything tonight, Jesse. But uh, the uh, on, we're gonna get him a mic here in a second. Here, we we gotta mic him up. We got a camera. Is that you? If he, yeah, that's my that's boys right doing. there, man. Hey, Nate, how is it going? I miss you, dude. How you doing? Good. Yep, that's you. Ooh, you're in there. Like, oh, it's going. I'm it's going, it. man. I'm in it to win it. I'm always here. I'm always, this is where I. This is where I am. Uh, where you, you know, live, man. Ninety percent of the weekend. Forty. Fifty percent of the weekend, maybe. You know, I'm, I'm always here. So Sundays, <laughs> you can oh, always boy. find me here, dude. It's, uh, you can it's always good. find us on a Sunday it's here. Good to see you. Yeah, For yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. So how are you doing? What do you? I mean, what well, do you? We weren't got talking up? about nothing. Dude. We, we were talking about. about no, we were talking about awesome bands like Heartsick. We were talking about and, awesome bands, Heartsick. Yeah, yeah. Catharsis Theory and all that. The internet sucking dick and yeah, uh, shit like that. Issues tonight. Well, you know, social media is a bitch. And it is. Well, it's not. It's the internet in uh, general tonight that's hitting us up. It's not just a particular type of, uh, you know. Well, site I have some people that I watch, man, and they're they're really getting censored really hard. Censored? YouTube. What do you mean by that? Yeah, just do you censored. think we're getting censored, and I that's mean, why we don't it, have internet? It depends on what you guys say. You guys say certain things, and then all of a sudden, I don't sudden, know. We've had Trump on here just bashing oh, Sleepy that will Joe. Be a bad it's deal for you. Talking all the best. ratings are gonna go down. But they didn't know we were gonna do that tonight. We didn't. No, they didn't know we were gonna have them on. No. Oh, hey, listen. You know, on a real note, life has been good. 
Okay, well, life has been good. It's a blessing. Good. Life has good. been a really blessing, good. and you know, it's like, uh, yeah, got, feel... it's summertime right now, and you know, you get to the point where you're going, oh God, what am I gonna do with life? Put what am I gonna do with camera. myself? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, and and then you realize, man, I'm fucking blessed. Shit yeah, I dope. like that. Damn, I look around, I'm like. Phew, I got good family. I got people that care about me and shit. Jeez, like, yeah, he comes boy. on the show. Listen to this guy. He's getting <laughs> this point is hot out. It's just real. God, it's been I hot. Even, listen, I haven't even seen Dan's new boat, dude. He's got this new boat. You, so saw <laughs> you saw me out there. And I just, I didn't get to see it yet. <laughs> no, you haven't been on it. I haven't been on it, and it's, it is. I haven't been on I, it either. I don't know. Hell, though. I it looks, you guys want to go it's on it? Fun. Go on it right damn now. Straight. Well, we should be doing the show I live didn't on the boat. I said damn straight. I said damn straight. We Dude, got I've got a perfect little studio boat. down there. I've got a little. It's a. It's got a sleeper in it. You know, it's got. What a, if you guys did the show on the boat? Oh. Oh. You know, yeah, that'd a, be crazy. I got that'd a kitchenette. <laughs> I've got a bathroom in there. We can go down there, set up on the table, set up the studio. Yeah, set yeah. it all up in the boat. In my boat. <laughs> <laughs> and even right during the winter, the, during the winter while it's fucking being you. stored, we'll fucking go out and like hang <laughs> out in the boat. No, not during the winter while it's being oh, stored. Oh come on, man! No, it cost me like fifteen hundred dollars to have it stored. Fifteen oh, hundred, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Good they do the Lord. shrink wrap, and then they That's they crazy. also do a bunch of mechanical stuff. They change the oil, and they they change all my fluids, and they. That's crazy. They I bought a thirty by out. forty uh, tarp and put that over my boat, man. That yeah, worked. well, that works. <laughs> that works. I've got a hell of investment into this one, and oh, so I just keep pretty, it. Oh, she's dude. I drove. Me and Nick drove by it, and I said, "That's Dan's new boat," and he was like, yeah. oh, "What?" He was all it's excited. Big, it's big, dude. It's a yacht. It is like. It a feels yacht. like it, but it, I got it. I got it for a really good price, but. It's expensive to maintain. That's all it is. You gotta Not do really this. Real. You gotta listen. Listen. I gotta <laughs> really. Do we already had DT really on here earlier? Price. Yeah, I got a really great price, okay? Got a really good price on this one. That's exactly what Dan said, I think. When actually, when he was fucking, when this all, when when he got the boat, yeah, you should have heard him. Get it for a really good price, which I did I'm get it for a really yes. good price, but. See, hey, if I, if, will, I wanna, if I want to, if I want to fill up the gas tank, it's like three hundred bucks. Hey, what you, hey, what you guys got on tonight? Uh, tonight right. we're going to be chatting with um, Nuke in the Night Shift. We're going to be chatting with the drummer Scott. Right on. So the drummer Scott's going to be joining us. He's going to be one of the bands that's uh, playing at the Escota Rock Fest. And then we're also going to be chatting with uh, Mag Dillon, the lead singer, and uh, pretty much the entire band because they're going to be, like I said earlier, they all live in the same house together. They live in the right. same house. Um, we're going to be chatting with them at uh, okay, about eight okay. o'clock, eight or eight fifteen, eight eight, eight fifteen ish area. So that's yeah. what the uh, the plan is there. So hopefully everything will, it'll it'll continue running. I'm just gonna keep on posting on the uh, the internet though, you know, like uh, on the in, down in the chat box. I'll just keep on reminding everybody so, we've got internet issues. Nate, so. I'm looking back at some old videos and uh, oh yeah, the chick with the pink hair that did the scream. I mean, she could really get it with the screamo. Like, ah, what was that band's name? Um, <laughs> mantra of Mor- mantra of Morta. I think I, th- I think that's oh, what it is. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's who you're thinking. All right, yeah, they, they, they rock, dude. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull that up. I bet you anything was, I can I can find was, that band um, right now. She's dope, man. Dude, that that's you know what? She with the the, the hooks up. in her back. Does she get it all yes. hooked? Yes, 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 yes. That's the yeah, yeah. That yeah, was, dude, uh, pull was them, awesome, pull that band man. up. I was fucking actually great right pull there. that up. We need to yep. listen to that. Tell you what. Yep. Let me, you uh, need a break here and try to figure she some shit out. There, and then man, we're gonna we're gonna play like, some, yeah uh, play some mantra really quickly and then uh, after yeah. that um, we'll play the um, we're we're gonna be chatting with uh, with Scott Scott because it's uh, seven thirty is coming right up here so man uh, nice. yeah let's play this really quickly mantra of Morda one of my mantra favorite bands yeah. yeah this is Pig man oh, yeah. this, is, this, this, yeah, stuff. this song's the best yeah, yeah dude.
I think that was the band. I don't know. Her hair's blue. It doesn't look very pink. Uh, that's uh, that's Thrilla, Vokilla Thrilla right there, the lead singer of that band, who you can actually see her at like carnival shows and all that shit, man. She's fucking badass. Um, another band that is badass is these guys right here that is on it with us. If you uh, if you turn your attention to these guys really quickly, this is the uh, the band. Uh, well, well, I think this is like uh, 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 this is a half of the band of Nuke in the Night Shift. Yeah, I found my brother. Yeah. You found you got your brother. Gotcha. Well, well, who's yeah, your brother? Tell, us, tell us your brother's brother, name. So I thought it would have been all of us, actually, but. Oh God! Yeah, no, it did. No, it's no worries, man. No worries at all, man. We we we, <laughs> we roll live yeah. here, dude. I mean, right now our internet is actually running like shit, so we're yeah. uh, we are recording everything, and we're gonna be uploading it later. So as soon as the uh, the show is done here, we're gonna be uploading everything, so that people can check it out later. Yeah. So if everybody that's missing cool. the show right now because the internet keeps twirling right there, after the show we'll upload this one. And right. Boom, right. We'll be able to watch it. It's just gonna be a little bit late, I guess. It's gonna. Yeah. We're it's having little problems. Little not you guys. You guys don't have any problems with the internet, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, you guys are coming in pretty crystal clear right now. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that, that's the weird thing is we can get the download. I mean, the download is just fine, but we can't fucking upload it all. Um, so, whatever. Yeah, Fuck it. I don't care. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're here to talk about you guys. We're here to talk about you guys. Yeah, you're the band. You, you guys are the, 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 the that fucking... nuke shit. The, yeah, nuke in the night shift. Now, where's, the, where's nuke at? Because I don't see nuke. Nuke is a, a big part of the band. Where's he at? Nuke's at home. Yeah, 
He's, he, he lives a little bit south of us, like an hour and a half, probably. Oh. Gotcha. Hey, how is that for being in a band? Yeah, how does that work? Uh, the three of us are brothers, and my brother, Corey, who's not with us, we practice at his house, actually the laundry room. So like a- he'll drive, you know, once a month. We're, we're trying to play out as much as we can, so, like, that's our practice a lot, too. Right. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, wow, yeah. You we just to- got off, like, a little tour thing. We went, like, five days. We went to um, Punk Rock Indianapolis and played with, like, an up-and-coming band. They're from uh, New York, the Bobby Lees, if you're listening, check this out, because they're going to they're gonna be pretty big someday. They Bobby just got Lees. a lot of talent. So we finished That's that. Awesome, like we threw out five days, like I was saying. So you got to practice. That was like at the end of May, beginning of June. So, so now you guys we're kind are, of practice stuff. You guys are perfect now together. When you play, when you get to, you had five solid days of rocking, dude. You guys are like, we got this shit locked down now, right? <laughs> no, yeah, we don't need to practice. Old. Tightens it up. Okay, I get it. That's the way to Love do it. it, you know, when you can get together, jam, and then jam so hard Absolutely. that you never forget. Beat it into your memory. like Being brothers, too, you know, I mean, in. that's a, the, you ultimately have a, you have a, a, an instant luck, you know, I mean, in the, yeah. in the industry. Oh, with brothers, with brothers it's just it's that way. Like, dude, that was the way it was with you and your brother sure, when you, back absolutely. in the day when it Siblings was. Siblings are wild. Yeah. They make, they make oh, yeah. crazy fucking awesome bands and like musicians like when they're working together because they know they know each other's timing they've got the same rhythm going on or something man. right it's just this yeah. magical thing when you get siblings together man. kind of made from the same mold yeah you know i'm saying Braden plays in a cover band too so he just played last night so yeah. he's always playing oh right shit always. what style of music in the cover band like 90s like van halen Yes! Yeah! Man. Hell yeah! yeah. I love me. it. Yeah. You'll wow. never need to Honestly, practice like with another. In the morning. Nice, yeah. I love it. Oh, hey, you guys are coming up to the... Uh, I, I actually been watch, checking out your guys' uh, stuff on uh, Facebook. I mean, you guys are a busy fucking band. I mean, you guys are... It seems, uh, look at me, I'm fucking... I, look, I just like... Went, uh. Um, and, but you guys, are this, <laughs> you guys are busy as shit. Like it seems like you guys are just gigging all over the place lately. Is that... Uh, I mean, who's, who's managing this stuff? Are you guys uh, putting this all together yourselves or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, Braden, he, he, he does some stuff too, but we pretty much, I pretty much just call bars. And, wow. You know, and it's just like, bam, yeah. they fucking do it. You really? call people. They don't care about Facebook and stuff. You yeah. call the actual bar and be like, I'm in this band. We're going to play there. <laughs> yeah. I or you know, just meet dude. friends and they invite you to play somewhere. Yeah, That's networking with other bands networking. too. Like, just get put, out there. Yeah. What's some of the bands? Tell me, tell me some of the bands that you guys have been jamming with alongside you. Uh, you know one of them, uh, Citrus Orange. They're oh, yeah. The, wow. The rock Fest there. We play with uh, Super Horn Dog from Flint. They were they were great. Yeah. Uh, Fuck yeah. Nice. Yes. Zesty Crew. Think, That's where we are. The, uh, the, orange, the Orange Guys. Uh, citrus Orange. Is anybody that right, likes yeah, the yeah. Citrus Orange Guys? You're part of the Zesty Crew is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Citrus <laughs> Orange. Crew, yeah. 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 Zesty Crew, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of Citrus Orange? Yeah, yeah. yeah they just said hungry. that they, oh, yeah, they, they played with Citrus Orange. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I spaced out. 88. Yeah, you, 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 you even on the fucking same show as us right now? What? what are you doing been, over there? I've been you trying to write everything down. He's over here, bro. He's over here Jeez, jacking God, off or something in the fucking corner. <laughs> the fuck not, day. Don't even like know I'm, what's happening. I'm sorry. I'm a fire the Internet does work. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I'm over here writing everything down, and I'm like a mile behind everybody trying to get the info. <laughs> fire started. So here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, no, they're a great band. Uh, <laughs> Citrus Orange. I, Citrus Orange is the shit. Yeah, we've had that actually in the studio. Studio here. We've had them. We've had them here when the uh, internet when yeah. the internet was running great. They we had a, awesome. Yeah, they did a live oh, stream here in our studio. Nice. Yeah, I tuned in live for that. I was like, man, this is cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we'd love to have yeah, you guys come by cool. sometime, dude. Our inter- our internet's not yeah. always down. Not always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, could, no. It was you good, could cut. You could come and we could do a live stream for you. We'd make sure it was running. Dude, it's okay if it's not. We've done that before, too. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah no, you guys recorded. are totally punk rock, and that's what I love about the band is, like, you guys have this fucking edgy punk rock look and feel, and even your live yeah. shows from what I've seen so far. I mean, Nuke rolling around. like uh, Really, uh, yeah, almost, yeah, Dan, if you saw it, you would start thinking of, of the uh, old days of me when I was up on stage. 
and uh, rolling around. On, but I was rolling around in puke. Like, if Nuke wasn't rolling in puke. It was Nuke no, rolling in puke. You guys, you guys yeah. know <laughs> Nate was in the band, yeah. and he got all fucked up during a show, and he was up there doing it, and he just, like, in the it's middle of the story, show, man. just puked everywhere, oh, dude, man. and then rolled around in it on <laughs> stage, around. just like, fuck it, dude. He started ah, rolling around in it. <laughs> it was the most punk rock thing I've ever fucking seen I had seen to keep it going, life, dude. It was dude. like, fuck it, you know? What do you do at this point? Yeah. I'm puking in front of fucking hundreds of people, yeah. you know? Like, what do I Nerves, fucking do? drinks, like, everything. This is part of the it. fucking show now, folks. Here we go, <laughs> you know? Yeah. People are like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was so gnarly, dude. But no, you guys. I well, some of you, some of your guys' influences. I always like to know where you guys get your influences from. Um, as far as drums wise, mine mine would be way off the wall. I'd say like Stuart Copeland, uh, like Mike really? Portnoy back like in his Dream Theater days. Um, Lars Ulrich. I'll say. Wow! <laughs> wow! That's, that's, that's a bold move, that. brother. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, list, the list could go on forever. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Early yeah. punk rock like The Clash, Travis This Baker, Big for Moans. Travis Barker? Travis Barker? I said Baker. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I, I appreciate what he does. I respect his craft, but I'm not like, I'm on the more raw type of shit. You know what I mean? Do you think, they, <laughs> like, do you think Kanye makes beats? <laughs> oh, Kanye? <laughs> Uh, Kanye is pretty dope, man. No, he doesn't make beats. <laughs> he don't he, make beats. He don't make beats. Um, <laughs> You're a fire starter, now. I am a fire fucking starter. Uh, so, yeah, uh, brother, what do you got there? I, I forgot your name, actually. What was your brother's name? I'm Brayden. Brayden. Brayden, what, what are uh, some of your influences? For guitar, for guitar, me, it's like uh, like George Lynch from Dokken and a big Randy Rhodes fan, some Dimebag Daryl, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. No, I like sure. 80s Dude, rock, too. Motley Crue. Um how do you guys but like? Definitely big George Lynch guy. Do you guys like like butthole surfers and Pennywise and shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gutter yeah, mouth. Of course. Yeah. Fucking, I, I like the gutter fucking, mouth yeah. back in the day. That's the yeah. roots, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Stuff, Fuck so yeah, that right. is my yeah, skateboarding right. days too, man. DK, fucking rocking the DK and the oh, fucking. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, was rocking I go to many the name to guys like Bad Religion for vocals and like that yeah. type of melodies, but like for like guitar playing, you know, more technicality is going to be like your, you know. Absolutely. Those guys, but fuck yeah, yeah fuck man. yeah. Well, I was cool. listening I like... to Clutch the other day Clutch? at the job site. Yeah. I listened to like that whole first album. I was like, "Fuck, I forgot oh, yeah. about Clutch, dude." Jesus yeah. on the yeah. dashboard. Oh yeah! Dude. Hey, check it out, Nate. This is the toe of Satan. The it's toe of Satan. Yeah. billion skullvolts. And I want you to see if you can pull it off as your punishment for being a fire starter. What? I was a fire starter. You're going to start a fire in your mouth now, and you're going to have second degree burns in your asshole. Why? What? For why? <laughs> I don't even understand You know that. why. I don't have to say it on li- <laughs> live not, on air, bro. There's not even a reason. I mean, He's I, a fire I, starter. I'm gonna, I'm a fire we'll get starter. back to this. Yeah, we'll, get back to this. <laughs> we'll get back to that. We'll talk about this that later. This is an amazing... Fuck you too. That, no, that is a fucking stupidly hot uh, sucker. You don't fucking cool. suck that thing. Do you guys do you ever do hot challenges in the band? Like, guys, before we go out, let's, like, get fired up. We never have. No, but those three, I, I don't drink, but they probably do drinking challenges. Oh, there's drinking yeah. ones, yeah. <laughs> drinking challenges. Oh, yeah, yeah, the biggest idiot tonight. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, that's, that's awesome. Funny. Yeah, we do a lot of this. Piss challenges. people off before they leave the house. <laughs> Did you guys? You guys know like that that jelly that what was it? Jelly Belly. They they had a Jelly Belly brand had like uh, the what was the name of that the the nasty ones the nasty jelly beans that you could eat uh, bamboozled well, like bamboozled, bamboozled. Yeah. well we ended up having this one that was for like hot shit right. <laughs> Dude, and then you spin this, right? Man, which one am I going to land on? How about Jalapeno, right? Uh Oh, sorry. There it is, guys. Got Got Carolina Reaper. (laughs) Got, uh, what else do we got in here? We got Sriracha. That's this one right here. You can't see through it because it's green. Green, yeah. (laughs) Anyway, this this sucker right here. Where are you going with this fucking story, Dan? I was just talking about how wild it was when we were doing all these hot challenges. I pulled that out, and I was like, dude. Did you guys know they make this too? Maybe you should get together as a band and like, brothers band, we're going to do this challenge. 
Dude, this, <laughs> dude, this yeah, fucking Toa yeah, Satan yeah, challenge, you could beat the Guinness Book of World Record if you go, like, long <laughs> enough. Like, if you have three suckers or something and just... Till they're gone, you're fucking famous uh, indefinitely, dude. ADHD is taking over. In I'm the just show saying, <laughs> there's <laughs> ways that you guys could really blow up if you expand your horizons. So, That's all. so uh, they, the Oscar to Rock Fest, you guys got coming up here. Yes. Uh, well, which night of the uh, two nights are you guys playing? First, second, uh, Friday. Friday night, Friday night, very, Fuck very, yeah. very cool, man. Yeah, you guys are. That, I like the 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 opening acts, like the opening the opening night. You know, like gets everything fucking ready. You know, like it just she gets does. everybody fucking spazzed out and ready to go. And you guys, what time are you guys going on at? I think we're going right before uh, Mag Dylan. Just before Mag, really. Yeah, wow, yeah, that's awesome. Right before them. Nice, nice, dude. That's a great spot. It gives too. you a, it gives you an opportunity, like Nate was saying earlier. To expose yourself to potential fans that maybe haven't yeah, heard yeah. you guys before, and they're like, "What? Yeah, These guys are awesome. too." So it's right up the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, coming out of coming out of Oscoda. I mean, I think that's a, the the coolest thing is like you guys yeah. are representing the town and you all that get stuff. That I mean, spot. That's definitely good. deserve that spot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay. and yeah, the uh, band good. now with the, with the band, like, uh, where have you uh, the the background of the band? Like, who is it that, that kind of started it? Was it all Nuke that kind of started the band, or uh, how did that all go? Uh, we Nuke had other and the like we. We were called the Yogis when we were kids, mm -hmm. and a uh, long story short, we we would play in the city <laughs> with Nuke in the Living Dead is who they were called. Oh, okay. Nice. And Nuke Nuke moved up north. Did we didn't really know, know, you know. We got out of music, went different fucking paths, and you you know the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we 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 uh, I, me and a a buddy of mine got a little venue, all ages venue, going in Oscoda. So the brothers and I, we started playing music again and shit like that. Right and on. Luke yeah. added us on the old Facebook, and we were playing one of the old songs, and I just sent it to him, I don't know, for some odd reason, and he's like, whoa, where are you guys at? You're playing again? I was like, oh, we just started, you know, today. And it gathers his interest so much to where he's like, I'm going to come and play with you guys. Like, I want to see what's up, you know? Oh, no shit. After a couple of days, he's like, let's make this a real thing, you know, because he has <laughs> like 50 originals. Nuke's genius with the punk rock songs, the horror themes. Like he, he's really, you know, in my opinion, I think he deserves a little more credit for what he does. Oh, so we're, sure. us as brothers being in the, the punk scene, like the Yogits, if you look that up, we, we had quite a little following too that oh, yeah. somewhat brings us back into Saginaw and places like that that remember those days detroit like mm -hmm. token lounge uh, oh yeah we used man. to play there a lot no back shit. in the day the yoga so we kind of had a little following and you know it took a with the wheels greased up but we're creating a bunch of our own songs too with nuke so our our chemistry and our whole you know fucking balance and everything that is coming together now and it's solid as a rock there's going to be a lot more music coming out it's going to be you know really hard hitting a lot right. of it you know cutting edge and different than anything you hear it's just oh, yeah you know, we just wow. started two years ago in the middle of a pandemic, so we're kind of, yeah. right. you know, turning the wheels now. We're able right. to play places and stuff. Well, that's good. Like, if you guys were able to start in a time where you could just, like, hide in the dungeon and create a bunch of fucking music in the can to where this whole thing opened yeah. up and it's like, blah, we're back and look right. what we got. Yeah. The yeah. Fucking we gas. We us, you know what I mean? We didn't to go anywhere because, like, the governor locked us down, but Nuke was still, like, riding his bike to us. <laughs> yeah. He was, like, breaking the law, like, this man, we're going to jam, you know? Fuck yeah. The whole, that is so right. punk rock. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah. more punk yeah, rock than that, dude. Shit, you know? So the yogurts, oh, yeah. though, like yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. what's that? Is it the yogurts or the yogas? Like the it's yogits. the yogits. Y u l g i t s. It's like my buddy from Boston, Mock. It's like if he was to say yogurts, that's how it would come out. The yogurts. Yeah, yeah. I got yogurts in the yeah, fridge yeah. over there. Like Go ahead. Yogurt, yogurt, you know what I mean? I got a couple of yogurts <laughs> over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Up so, uh, that, yeah, I made it up. Actually, the <laughs> yogurt, it was originally a, a, a school project Braden had. No shit. He, he played with the neighbor kid. He was on the drums. And, right. and then yeah. where I was playing a show at a place called PS 150, and there was no drummer. His buddy's like, no, oh, this is, I'm scared, and he didn't show up. So I played drums with Braden. He was the mastermind of the yogurts. And we played like Ramones, Blitzkrieg, Bop, and stuff like original <laughs> riff we were yeah, with. But after that, my brother Corey joined us, and we played for a good, you know, 
four or five years yeah, rocking out a couple of things. It's so freaking awesome. I love it. The whole story is punk then, and then See, once you lay dead in the water with the music stuff, though, you know, it, people forget about you. So we're building again. <laughs> yeah, man. Right, right, right. Yeah, Do you bring yeah. back big, tall, like, mohawks. Remember yeah, that? Punk yeah, rock? Rancid. Like, back yeah, when yeah, punk rock was, like, mohawk, like, this fucking... You had that? Yeah. yeah, I'm envious of that. I never had the balls. I never had the fucking balls to do it. It was a lot of work. I bet. It really was. It's a statement. It was a statement, bro. Oh, like, yeah. I'm so <laughs> punk rock. It was like half as tall as I was at that point. Hell yeah, dude. That is so fucking cool. <laughs> it just, like, There's pictures of that on Google, actually. <laughs> no shit. Good, man. Yeah. Well, see, hearing, hearing the story of like the band, you know, like kind of like culminating back from uh, from nothing for the most part, you know, and like to get to the point where you guys are at, that's got to feel pretty cool, doesn't it? You know, like to be opening up for some of these bigger names, you know, oh, these yeah. big bands that are coming in here from, uh, you know, uh, other states, uh, you know, uh, national yeah. acts. So you got, yeah, yeah, you got Saving awesome. Able that are going to be there. Shout out to them, too, for coming yeah. to Australia sure. in our area, helping out the, Absolutely. You know, the Veterans Memorial. Yeah, man. Shout yeah. out. Thank you. Yeah, this Try is a good group. time. Show everybody a good time, you know. It's cool yeah, the way that uh, I, I like. I like the way that uh, Oscoda businesses around there has all come together too, and they've been well, pulling together like sell the 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 tickets to these things. You know, yeah. like you can go to like just right. about yeah. every business in Oscoda right now. It seems like, and you can buy yeah. yourself some tickets for uh, the Oscoda Rock. Yeah, that's Fest, so cool, so. man. Yeah, I was just in the bar today, and they had one in there. And they were selling them in there. Yeah, that's cool. That's people are talking about it in there too. Like, what's this? You know, looking at the flyers, and they're buying the tickets. So. That's sweet. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's just a, that's great to know that they. Why you, don't we do like anything like that around here? We wanted to do something I mean, like that. Why? Yeah, but why don't the businesses get involved and shit like this? Oh, I don't know because we suck. Because we <laughs> suck. <laughs> we're we're well, too. Well, the businesses do have a lot of the bands play in their bars though like we're playing okay. at the asaba land in oscoda this weekend mm -hmm. and they're they're letting us play 40 originals so i mean they they do support you know the people and stuff if they're yeah. doing it you guys are going to play be playing at the ace hardware star out, store out there too the ace hardware. <laughs> dude that's like a big venue bro ace they hardware is like the biggest building yeah, in town. they do not yeah. just the bar okay. they saw them at, at ace when he's the gas company. There's a there's a ga Gary's Gas. I think it is. You've been jamming out at Gary's Gas. No, Gary actually, Oil. Gary Oil. Yeah. Gary Oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary Oil. No, it's awesome. It's. I think it's very cool. It's very cool that they're they're all coming together. It's just uh, it's a very very fucking sweet thing to see happening in in a. You want to know why that's you know? that's I mean, able to happen? Because like. All the guys that own those places now are like our age, Nate, and we came. Ba what what bands did we mention tonight? Butthole Surfers, right. fucking yeah. Pennywise, yeah, right? Mouth, those guys EK. that own that shit, they're like in our age bracket. They're, they're the guys that own them shits now. They're like, fuck, I'm putting it down for me, for fucking rock now. Yeah, they got yeah. their chance, dude. Oh, the, yeah. the, the, the guys, everyone, everyone's yeah, we like, have you know, all, all different walks of life come and see us. You know, yeah, it's good to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. We're different walks of life, too. <laughs> hey, absolutely. Well, hey, that's what you gotta. That's what you gotta have, man. Well, yeah. we, we, right. you know, I, yeah. I got, uh, I got one music video that I got all loaded up that we were gonna check out here tonight. Actually, it's the yeah. uh, we got the, we got the right that that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. The no budget video. Yeah. No yeah budget. The that's no budget one. video. Is there a better one? Should yeah, that's play? the way that you fucking do them, oh, man. Oh no, oh I mean, no. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's punk it. rock. That's it. <laughs> you, no, you ain't fooling me. I well, just, it is. It is like when you. When you watch it, yeah, you do. You do instantly think, man, maybe there was like twelve bucks that was involved in this. <laughs> but I mean, it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twelve beers. <laughs> but this yeah. is this is the one thing that we've been preaching to the to the bands out there left and right. Every band that we've talked to that does not have a music video, we're like, fuck it, put something together. You know, like it doesn't yeah, matter what you, it is. People want content. Yep, get yeah, a, get yeah. something. If you it's got a good hard. recording, you got a good audio recording. All it is is putting video to that audio recording. You know, so. absolutely. Mm -hmm. People you know? like that, though. You know, yeah. they can right. see what you look like. It doesn't even have to be edited good, as long as there's a visual <laughs> something. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> so, what I don't like, what I don't like, is when they put just the words up for you to read. Like there'll be yeah, like a lyric video. 
Just lyrics, the lyrics, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if I'm if I'm writing yeah. a parody song or something, it's great to know what the lyrics are precisely are, so I can write a great parody song. But outside of that, no. <laughs> like you know, let us see who is singing this fucking song. We want to see what you look like. Right, right, right. Well, right. See what you look like, or see what you actually, you know, like what does this song visually mean to you, and how can I we mean, convey the, sure, the you message? Can, to you can make the a people. real video and do that. But I mean, at the very least, is what I'm saying. Have like oh, a right. picture of you guys standing there or something like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" Yeah. At least have a, a, a even a still frame, like you know what I mean. It's just moving Some left to right. Some of these guys yeah. put out bands, yeah, videos. It's like, what the fuck, man? We don't even know what you look like. <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna t- we're gonna we wanted to check that that, that music video out really quickly, yeah. but uh, at the same time, I want to know a little bit of the backstory. You know, I like to get the uh, the nitty gritty of this music video. Like the uh, yeah, t- yeah, tell yeah. us about tell it us. because you're saying the no budget video. Uh, tell it, take us through yeah, it really quickly. How did this all go to bu- come well, about? We released uh, Deal With The Devil, which is our first EP we recorded with uh, uh, pretty much a, a buddy who has like a makeshift studio in his garage. <laughs> we had nothing um, for it, so we filmed that all in one evening, like the week after that dropped, yes. and put it out within a couple of days. The When I'm playing the drums and you see something hang out of my mouth, that is a real joint. <laughs> which was smoked from that <laughs> during the recording. Ooh, and it was burning my joy. eyes. <laughs> Great um, oh, my God, God, oh my God, these guys are so hardcore, dude. Smoking a joint. You can go support that sab- uh, sab- uh, Sabo Riverboat, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to start getting crazy, getting drunk, you hit that boat. You he trust me. Oh yard. my God. We were just out there yeah. just now, actually. Oh, what we were doing. Keeping it in our town. That was my brother's laundry room. Not much space, but we made <laughs> two scenes. Uh, I did the filming of the band. Yeah. My brother Corey did filming of me. He's got a little bit of angle to him. Um, it was COVID times. Dude. Yeah, COVID yeah, so times. We Super got boring. the right is about, you know, not going out. Yeah. Like, we got the right for Saturday oh, night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, fuck COVID. We're going. We got the right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, What's dude, what's going on? I love that, that so. dude. That is fucking great. Yes. I, I, I I love the message. I love what dude. it just dude, like I said Fuck earlier. Yeah. I mean, like the punk rock, man. The punk rock in this fucking yeah. in this band, dude. Like everything about it is just. And when you see him live, that's what I like too. The interaction with the crowd. I mean, yeah. you guys are fucking. I I, I see you guys. Uh, you know, standing up on your yeah. on your uh, boxes that you got. Your I, I think uh, Preston Mayland actually calls them the eagle boxes. Um, yeah. But yeah. yeah. You, you guys get up on those. I mean, the fucking guitar swinging around in the fucking air and shit like that, dude. It's just, yeah. it's fucking, that's the way to be, dude. That's the way that you got to be up on stage. And that's, uh, yeah. you guys bring the energy, you bring the heat. I think it's cool. So, uh, um, thank you. Yeah, I'm not fucking Simon Cowell or anything like that. But, right, yeah. uh, you know, wow. uh, I, I'd say that you guys are, you guys are talented heavy. folks. And I'd like to, yeah. like to see some more. We'll give you a, a, a green light here. Is that what they give on those shows? Green lights? Green or lights or stars? fucking... Uh, yeah, you get One a, star. A gold star or you get a... Th- Stop it. No, that was... Uh, one yes. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, you get a yes, I think is what it is. What was the one... Anyhow. Star search when Ed McMahon. Three and a half stars. Here we go. This is... a buzzer, too, sometimes. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Nuke and the Night Shift, everybody. You guys, we're gonna yeah. we're going to let you get rolling. We're going to check out that music video, but it just the, this is Nuke and the Night Shift, man. They're... Uh, out of Oscoda, thank you guys so much, man, for yeah. uh, for chatting with us tonight, dude. You guys are yes. fucking great. Let's hear a round of applause. You guys are punk thank rock, man. Woo! South is straight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Right. We'll be there, bro. Check the call worse, right? Thank you guys for chatting with us, man. We were, we will talk more between now and then. I can't. Can't sure, wait man. to see you guys live at the uh, Skoda Rock Fest, man. Take care. Yeah, we're there. Skoda Rock Fest. Fest. Oh, Let's there go, go to it. The, yeah. uh, there's uh, Nuke and the Night Shift. They, uh, uh, Scott and his brother, Brandon, right? Was it Brandon? Uh, was it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that was Brandon. I do believe. Yeah. Shit. Fucking brain. Um, God, I didn't write that down. There we go. There's uh, there, the video. Uh, yeah, we got a music video. Music video from these guys. We got, we got a music a, video. Yeah, we're going to check out their uh, music video. And then we're also going to be checking out some stuff from uh, Mag Dillon. Because uh, they're going to be uh, our uh, next chat that we're going to be having here. But first, we have a message from the Ascota Rock Fest. Uh, I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, me too. Wonder what's on TV. 
Like this year's concert that slaps harder than Will Smith. Whoa, cool. The 2022 Oscoda Rock Fest. Rock Fest 3. August 12th and 13th at Veterans Memorial Park of Northeast Michigan. Uh, I think I have those dates open. <laughs> yeah, me too. Get ready to score with bands like Nuke in the Night Shift. We got the bird. Citrus Orange. Catharsis Theory. Black Note Graffiti. With headlining acts, Mag Dillon. And Saving Abel. Friday show from 5 to 10 p.m. and Saturday from noon to 10.30. Tickets and info available online at oscotarockfest.org.
that shit. There you go, Mac Dillon right there. Mac and we Dillon. had, uh, but right before that, that was uh, Nuke and the Night Shift. Nuke we chatted the... with the band. We Dude, they're so with punk the, rock. Half of the band it's, there, it's yeah. Like they're oozing punk rock. Oozing punk rock? Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah, oozing punk rock. Um, I've never heard that, that phrase for, for a person before. Yeah. Um, in the studio with us is uh, actually, we have, uh, with uh, while we are waiting, because we're going to be chatting with Mac Dillon, but we're going to talk to, um, uh, this is, uh, oh, look, he's oh, tall. Yeah, yeah. That's right. We got to we got to go no, up here no, like no, this. No, this no, is uh no, <laughs> this is got, give us your name again. This is your, what was your name? Yeah, you tell us. Uh, I mean, I go by Ace. Sleepy on my music stuff, but you can call me John or Charlie or whatever you prefer. It's just kind of the entire family. John or okay. John or Charlie? John, Charlie, Ace. I respond to basically That's a big anything. gap of name. I yeah, mean, John it, and Charlie. I've changed my names a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like that, so. Jumps around from name to name. And whenever yeah. I'm feeling froggy kind of thing. So, so. Uh, Charlie, John, where do you uh, where Ace. do you come from? What do you got going on? Are I come you? from Columbus, Georgia. I grew uh -huh. up in Indiana. I kind of want to move up here once I graduate kind of thing. So nice. it's like I got my hands on a little bit of all the states kind of thing. You guys so. you do the music and stuff? I do a lot of music. I'm more of like a pop punk, punk rap kind of like cool. rap and shit like that. I with everything cool so, dude, oh we got actually before should i ask am i okay to cuss yeah. no yeah. no okay. not at all, all right. no, dude this wig makes it look yeah. like you got Shit. a bunch of hair growing <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> gil rivers <laughs> right there i don't know how close Ooh. i need to be you to feel the like putting on the gil rivers you can put on the gil rivers anytime i mean i got the Go hair already ahead. i don't need no <laughs> wig <laughs> so just hold on we got jesse in the studio as well guys Bless me. We only have one camera. We got to get a camera on Jesse real quick. Hey, Hold on. I, I got Turn. him. I got him. I got him over him? here. Listen. Um, so, Jesus, get, <laughs> get his mic going here. It, it, Gil, Gil can wear a hat, too. Oh, you don't um, have to be Gil. I didn't realize any? my well. glasses are pulling my shirt down like you're, that. You're, you're right, back on with music. You're listen, saying, like, uh, so you're, you're coming right. up in music, man. Tell us. Yeah, punk rock, exactly. the punk and, and, so, and pop rap like type stuff? Yeah, I like, I, like a lot of, I like a lot of pop punk and stuff like that. Actually, I bought my first electric guitar um, after Tickets to My Downfall by Machine Gun Kelly release. Oh, really? I, like, oh. I was always wanted to do acoustic Midwest indie stuff. Like, Life uh, in Pink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I want to do a lot of acoustic Midwest indie stuff, stuff like uh, Panuki's Pizza, Jank, stuff like that. A lot of mm -hmm. Midwest. I mess with Mid Midwest. I just can't he write fucks that well. With it, he says. You know what right, I mean? I'm right. with I'm with a little bit of everything kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, my first song was like a lo-fi or like a like a slam poetry kind of thing. Yeah. And then I released an entire like lo-fi album of just like stuff you can listen to while you study. You play guitar and stuff. I play or? guitar. Yeah. Um, that entire lo-fi album was actually There's all the guitar guitars right me. behind you. Yeah, no, that's got acoustic. missing strings. It's got missing it. strings, yeah. but I play with a lot of electric too. It. If you can, if, if you want to, if we want to fuck with the top four strings, you I'll, know. <laughs> not even I'll definitely check it out a little bit later. Uh, that's well, uh, that's, that's the one. That's Trump's guitar. That is Don's um, That's Don's guitar. Yeah, that's Don's so. Trump. We'll, we'll be, we'll be, we'll show you Don here in a little yeah, bit. But, yeah, yeah. Right. We'll get back to that. We'll show you the video that he cut yeah, when he was yeah. here. Some of you that have been so watching. So you're, you're coming up here. You, you, what, why would you want to move to Northern Michigan? What, um, what I'm going to be honest with you. I'm coming up here to move to Northern question. Michigan just to like. I kind of like it up here. I like the environment. I like the weather and things like uh -huh. that. On top of that, weed's legal up here. Weed's legal so up that's here. What it's about. <laughs> um, weed's remember legal. that, folks. Man, he's coming from Georgia. Yeah, I'm coming from Georgia where this that's just illegal. Here. Here. On top here. of all <laughs> that, it ain't I got like that, I got family up here. I got like I know a lot of people and things like that. I right. get to and on top of that, I'm a very social person. So something about meeting new people and being able to talk out there yeah. and stuff like that and just talk to people. I'm a very social person. So it's kind of nice to be able to have all these areas around me as well as a lifestyle i enjoy there's something yeah. about being able to do music at the same time being able to do like hard work and stuff like that that i really admire sweet and i'm like i love doing a lot of hard work and stuff like that so i got a lot of family that does a lot of the physical blue collar kind of stuff and i'm like i kind of enjoy that but at the same time i can do this while i'm doing music and pursuing my actual dream sure right. rather than being forced to grow up and just slave away at a nine to how five. old are you right now i'm 17 i turn 17. 18 in november you got plenty of time to ruin your life oh yeah i got plenty of time however <laughs> i got i got my entire i got my entire thing set up i'm planned i got one way or another i know that i'll be okay it's just a matter of would i like to pursue music and do that as a career absolutely if worse comes mm -hmm. to worse i go into a trade or i go work yeah. Like and do a lot of physical work. Right. That's my that's my life. Or we you do you know what we do. You know what music. I say. We exactly. Do. Yeah. We put together a uh, Soul Asylum tribute album, 
and tribute band, and we get yeah. him as the lead singer for the Soul Asylum tribute band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he probably, looks just like the singer. You, you know, yeah. you know what I'm I could probably do you that. There's a lot of stuff. The way, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff. I'll admit, I'm not the most experienced. I'll admit, I'm not the most experienced. I'm not the most skilled. But I like to do what I can do uh, and make know. do with what I've got around me. Especially, I'd like, love to hear it. I when it comes, especially when it comes to studio yeah, equipment. I'll, I'll give him. Yeah, studio. yeah. He wants to hang out in our studio and check out equipment and do some like this. This is the nicest studio I think I've been in. I've been in a couple of like homemade studios but compared to my studio where i've got my guitar going in and my mic going into an audio interface directly mm -hmm. into my computer compared to all this this is nothing y'all well, make that's my... just what we have too but it's just on a bigger scale oh yeah it's on a much bigger up. scale it makes it much easier to work level. with as well um yeah andy behind the scenes here of av studios is the right. genius behind Thank all the you, wires andy, yeah putting all the wires Thanks where the wires andy are supposed always, to go because exactly he, I, mean, I, could, I, would, I remember when we were over at mark's studio i was able to uh, you know connect what i had to connect and that was right. that was good but andy's a very intricate uh process yeah, if you made, could ever see behind the the monitors here it's yeah, a mess of fucking wires. He's set this whole thing up. You can't believe. Cable but Andy management. knows where they all go, and, and that's, we have the setup out there to do live streaming here as well. And yeah, that's all yeah. Andy's handiwork, putting everything together, building Nate, that system with us. Nate, and before we came here, I showed him a video of, of of something that we shot before here, and he was like, "That oh, is yeah. something I want to go do." So oh bad. fuck yeah, like, dude! Then we gotta go do it, buddy. I'm Come always a big person. In Georgia. My nephew, man, and I love you, buddy. We gotta go. We'll play some. Of, we'll play some of the videos later that we've uh, we've been producing oh, yeah. around here. I've today. always been a big person for learning and like growing around the environments and taking the opportunities I have around me, kind for of. For sure. Thing. And this is an opportunity that I know that I will definitely learn from, especially cool. as an upcoming artist and things. See like me, that. I like to take from the people around me that are that already know all that exactly, shit. Exactly. That, that way, they I know what they're I doing. Don't, well, well, I'm a little lazier than you are because, <laughs> fair. like, I just take everybody else. Else's talent with making this shit happen, recording, engineering, putting it all down, and then I just like bring my creativity and act like an idiot. I, there's yeah. several <laughs> characters. I'm just a personality. I don't do any Dan, technical work. Dan shows up ten minutes before the show starts. Yeah, and yeah. Then it's like, hey, yeah, I'm just a mouth. I like I'm just to a fucking mouth. I like to learn about all these different things because eventually there's going to be a time I've learned that I don't work as much as I want to start a band. There's a lot of people. I, I have to have like the select correct group of people before Absolutely. I can actually start a oh, band. Yeah. I'm very picky and I want them all to have the same vision. So when it comes to like doing stuff like in a studio where I learn how to produce and put it all together myself, it comes to that situation where I can do it myself as long as I try hard enough. But like, so I want to learn everything I can before actually you like, gotta, there's those, always got to be one guy that knows how to do all the shit. Exactly. Like especially when it comes to bands. You just situations. nominated yourself, like get good at it. And then when your band comes say, look, I've already orchestrated this whole thing. You got to be playing. Do you got I'm recording you all at the same time. Well, I'm the of referee of the band, putting everything Doesn't together. One thing I it also matters with timing say. too, especially like if you have skill and you have the correct timing, any situation can go correct for you. One thing I remembered from the uh, the radio days was that they they told me basically that I had to be there like every day. You oh know? yeah, like if you want if you want to learn how to do this because I didn't go to school for any radio or anything like that. You know, I just want to learn like, how to do this. You got to be. I want to learn how to do this. So I was like, it was seriously like I had to oh, intern my ass off to uh, get anywhere. A lot of the stuff was stupid. And it didn't really teach me a damn thing. <laughs> but yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> but like, like being in the environment and learning from the things around you can also like. It was, well, it taught me time management. Oh was, yeah, it was such a time sensitive type of a world where I had to make call ins and stuff like that. Plus, wear a monkey suit and fucking run around town with you know collecting bananas and rolling around it's on the true. ground and shit. Like exactly, that. I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Literally, literally, he was in a monkey, monkey suit. suit. Right. For yeah. Real. Wait for real? Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's no, wild. Yeah. Yeah. In an <laughs> actual real. monkey suit. Actual monkey. Middle of the fucking cherry festival dance around on top of a oh uh, man i was dancing I've on a fucking him. truck like, the entire time like a pr him. stunt kind of kind of thing no Absolutely. it was well, just to do it yes, it was course. a part he of the it was a part of the station. job yeah okay was, yeah they're like get this he was in a monkey suit <laughs> that was, was what i had to do on right. top of the goddamn so, shit you know there was hazing that happened in the in the radio world right on yeah. a small scale i mean this kind of hazing happening if you want to be an intern here you're going to do the shit that we don't want to do that we think is funny like dress in this monkey suit and go out and dance on top of this roof yeah and promote our radio station go Oh tell, yeah. Tell oh, yeah. I'll do it. I feel I'll like do it. I feel like doing stunts and getting something out there is also going to be like a big thing. Like a lot of if you want like public interaction and things like that. Well, you got to you got to plan it just the right way. You oh yeah, it it's right always way, about it's you know? always about timing the correct place and the yeah. correct time and being there. And when you do those things, it benefits you. You even if you don't like benefit from it originally, you also learn from like the 
you also learn from the experience and you get to meet people like playing the game. Oh, kind absolutely. Of oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's uh, that's what it's like that. a lot of right. bands right. and stuff like that that I've tried to join. I've met people and then it doesn't work out with the well, band. The and then I continue real. to work and grow with the other people that I've met through that band kind of thing. Absolutely. Right, right. Of course. Working oh, together. look at this. This is uh, where we should be. This is like the, this is the metaverse, okay? Talk. This is the Good what talk. they were talking about with, like this is the multiverse. There's, oh yeah. yeah, there's so many like of Nate. me like that are just Nate. everywhere. Oh look at this! Hey, oh. no hey. way! Hey. I was in the metaverse. Up, I was just <laughs> in the multiverse, <laughs> and then the next thing you know, bam! I was in uh, I was in the <laughs> real fucking universe. Yeah, Mag and Dylan universe. Mag Dylan, yeah. yeah, we got the Mag Dylan universe. Is what's going on, man? Hey, yeah. how you doing, Susanna? And the and the Susanna. and the band. How you, how you guys? doing tonight Oops. can you see him okay we can see we can finally hear you oh, we can hear you now yep uh, just turn it to turn it to the side turn the uh, camera sideways can you if you can oh, okay gotcha hold on yep if it's possible if it's possible yeah we did that before yep we got yeah. this i have it in my little thingy here that's this looks like a comfortable house that they're all i love this, this house i want to go they go. must be doing pretty yeah. good for a van that's way better One he's thing. fixing the holder hold on okay got it. no no worries Look. We we rolling, man. And you're in a we band, and you can fix screen. holders. Holy shit! The whole nine oh, yards. The whole nine Oh, yards. you broke it. Never mind. <laughs> it's a good thing you got a band backup. You know, Plan B, dude. No worries. No worries. No, well, we're here. We're the techie band. Okay, number. you're here. Oh, there. Oh, upstairs there. we go. There Boom. Yeah, I like the house actually. I it looks be. really it's comfy. It's a pretty yeah. rad house. We always, you know, we always pick on everybody's backgrounds. You know, when they do an interview with us, like, what do you got in your room here, bro? Yeah, like, like uh, you know, you got a you got a <laughs> Top Gun poster in the background, and like, but not you guys. You have an awesome background. Yeah, this place you guys great. all live in the same house together. We were talking about it earlier. Pretty awesome. That's how you got to do it for a band, you know. Is that one of those? Can they hear me? Okay, Bruce wants to take you for a tour of the band room. Oh, yeah. yeah! Now we're talking. Here we go. This is the. Place. This is where I do all my recording at. This is what a real studio is supposed to look like. Okay. <laughs> Dude, no, it is. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. No shit. Well, actually, that's our home studio. We have an actual studio, too, down at a warehouse that we practice our full band at. Okay, yeah. okay. So that's yeah. the, this is the home studio as well. As, yeah, because you, you got to have a place where you you come up with all the good shit at home, of course. And you guys are all living together. We were saying that earlier when I was uh, working in the radio business. They were like, you got to be here every single day if you want to learn it. And you guys are living to fucking together. You know, I mean, you, you guys are yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is the way that you got to do it right here. That's so I. Uh, like uh, like, Yo, I came up with this dope song idea. So we. <laughs> We, we've got it streaming up on the TV. So yeah, that's why you, you keep seeing us look up there. Okay, looking gotcha. to see like, what it actually looks like. If I'm guys, looking at you, though. If you guys are actually able to pick it up, because right now the live stream, our internet has just been uh, completely horrendous tonight. So what I'm doing is I'm actually recording this, and I'm going to be uploading the entire thing. The recorded yeah, version is going to be all, all fine. You know, I'm recording this on a separate thing here locally on my computer. So it's going to be it's going to be fine. As soon as the show's over, yeah, as soon as the show's stream, over, we'll we're upload the boom, hard upload recording. It. But uh, tell us about the band. I want to. I want to know about Mag Dillon. You guys are in the uh, v Virginia Beach area down there in uh, in Virginia. Um, tell us how this uh, how this all ca came about. How did the band start uh, forming? Uh, yeah, take us to history. the very beginning of it. Yeah. So it started in 2017 when I met Bruce. I went to an open mic, and uh, I met Bruce, and we just started talking. And he, I was in a different band, and he was in a different band. And he said, "Well, let me write a song for your band." And I was like, "All right, cool." So he did, and then I was just, my band wasn't as heavy as I wanted it to be, so um, we kind of just. Yeah, they got kind of irritated about it. Well, not everybody <laughs> in the band, yeah. So one of the persons they were in was like, what? I don't really want to do that. You know, he just wasn't down with the whole heavy. Yeah, style. Yeah. You got to go with what we makes your heart. Together. Yeah. All right. You know, we got to go with what makes your heart feel the best. Your heart's got to be in it, man. You got to say, I absolutely 100% love what I'm doing. Right. And if right. you don't feel that way, you move to another band. So you did the right thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you did the absolutely perfect thing. Fuck I mean, yeah, this, uh, the, the all the music videos that I've been watching so far, I noticed that the, uh, you guys just, the way that the, you, oh, you're, She's it's like, okay. screw you guys. She's listening. <laughs> uh, the all the music videos that I've been watching of you guys, it's just like uh, the it's it's fucking raw, 
like gritty fucking the the lights the way that you guys bring the energy to the oh, to yeah. the music scene i think you know like when, when i'm watching the videos is i don't know it gets me fucking pumped up it gets me excited and uh and uh, um with with the yeah, Ascona rock fest uh, you know i would just love to know like uh like th- this uh, like how did this all come about Are you guys just uh sitting there one day you're like hey uh you know i, I heard of this place in Ascona. we should check it out or how did, how did that all work out right, yeah how'd you find out Adam, he's from up north. Oh, so, you're from up here, eh? From up north, eh? <laughs> well, I'm originally from Illinois, but okay. no, I actually used to work for Knob Point. Okay. Just kind of a little bit. Yeah. And obviously, being all over, one of their 361ers, uh, Tamara, <clears throat> we played last year on this tour with Ed Pete. Uh, we played their venue called The Venue. Up around uh, the Traverse City, I believe, area. Traverse City. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she is actively in the music scene up there and had their own reach out to us. You know, was like, listen to your stuff, really like your stuff or whatnot. I was wondering if you guys wanted to headline. And it's actually a, it's, it's a support for veterans. Yeah. You know, a lot of the don't. A lot of the stuff is actually donating to veterans and retired veterans and so on and so forth. And I said, we want to do it. I brought it up to the band and they're like, oh, oh yeah, why not? It's like, you know, it's fest. It's, you know, something that we are very heavily in support of. Uh, and we were like, yeah, you know, why not? Let's do it. So this will <clears throat> this will also be our first festival we've ever headlined. Really? Wow. Yeah. First time we've ever headlined a festival. Oh. I mean, we're definitely ready. We have like more music than we can even we don't we know what to do with we've got music we haven't even released yet really that's so, so got, cool we've we got six it. months of music ahead of us you, you think we're going to be able to uh to experience this at the uh at the rock fest you think maybe like a couple of uh couple New of releases? songs that you haven't released yet we may be oh. uh hearing or anything yeah. like that absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Them, let's go. two of them let's go to Oscar. yeah, yeah. all right show. dude so that's something that's something that's something that's a, uh, shut up for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. We're like, partying I'm over trying, here. I'm trying to have a conversation. Um, yeah. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> I'm very excited about Ascona Rock Fest. Um, I'm sorry. So the the band uh, coming up here no, up north, you guys obviously working with Nonpoint, you said. Uh, Rob Rivera, dude. We've had Rob on actually before. He's a uh, – yeah. that, that guy's a fucking great – he's a trip, dude. I mean, the, the, you, you want to talk about uh, – what's that? Go ahead. I was in the drum tech for five years, from 2015 to 2019. No kidding, dude. So you worked right yeah. beside him the entire time. Yep. That's so cool. Yeah, what a small world. I mean, it's the you know. I mean, that we're five people away yeah. all the time. You know? Yeah, always. <laughs> I think that's so cool. Um, now, Matt, uh, Susan, I was about to call you Mag. Sorry, but the Mag, the band, the name Mag Dylan. Where did the where did oh. the band the band name culminate from? Where did this come from? Um, so, oh yeah, I, let me answer. Because Bruce, it's funny when we talk about this because we it's because of Mary Magdalene, right? So it started with Mary Magdalene, but Mary Magdalene was an outsider, right? Uh-huh. So since she was an outsider, we decided to spell Magdalene kind of like Magdalene, but we made it our own. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. I yeah. love that, dude. I like, uh, yeah. No, it's, uh, it almost uh, reminded me of, like, the uh, Marilyn and the Manson, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> taking... Yeah, I mean, when Manson, I remember what his uh, whole thing was, he was taking something beautiful and something horrid and putting it together or something like that was, was what his uh, his horrid thing, yeah. whole thing was. Both kind of came out of the same And it's era. kind of a similar thing where it's like Mary Magdalene is a saint. Right. And... Dylan's an outsider, and that's kind of what we do. I love it. I have to show you what I'm doing right now because you can't see on camera. Oh, you did so you I'm should look at the puppy. Oh, look at the puppy. Careful, of the, careful yeah. of the camera yeah. real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, a puppy. Look at this dog. Oh, my look God. At boy. Look at that. He's like a he's, like he's a, the absolute star. So just so you know what I'm doing, I'm holding the bully stick. Oh, <laughs> what's it? Tell us the dog's name real quick. That dog is the sweetest thing. Her name is Fluffy. 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 That she's 
she's beautiful. I, I, I just, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to, I love the smushy faced little bulldogs, you know, like that's the, the my girlfriend and I, that's our, that's our goal is to is get a bulldog. Is that what you're going to do? Is yeah, we want to get a bulldog, like bad, dude. Like that's our, uh, our thing, our jam. Well, tough breed, man. It's a very tough breed, man. But like once you fall in love with the breed, that's it. That you, once you get one, like for me, I always loved Shih Tzus and I, I have Shih Tzus over there. I'll probably go get her in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, she's adorable, but like this bull breed they're so funny and they just they drool and they're they have their own little personalities and she is 10 months old um and her, th- part of the thing with them is sometimes they have health issues and her spinal cords deform so that's why she's wobbly and that's why i have to hold her bully stick because she can't really grab up the time with her she's perfect but she's perfect to us so, so you know what you guys are a rare yeah. breed too so i mean you guys know you even have <laughs> right you guys are a rare breed of freaking band, dude. Killing yeah. it. Let's go to rock fest. It's gonna be. Uh, oh, dude, they're gonna be. There. There. Yeah, I can't. We we. Yeah, I can't wait to see this, man. I mean, what, what kind of a. What kind of a what kind of a live show do, can people expect from you guys too? You know, like that's one of the things that I, uh, I I've watched the music videos and stuff. I've been watching a lot of the produced music videos, but what about the live show? What's the, what's that gonna be like? Mostly during our shows, we like to take you for an emotional ride. Because most of the, the music, if you listen to the vocals and the music, it's, it's, I try to write around what she's singing and how she's doing. So as you go through the, as we do the set, you'll see it'll incline. It'll get, it'll get really big. And then we'll take you down into a blue light, just something real soft. And then we'll bring it home. I can't wait. See, that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like the, uh, you know, that's one thing that I was uh, saying is like the uh, melodic harmonies is what we have with uh, with Mag Dillon and uh, mm-hmm. crushing uh, music, you know, like all the, the music yeah. all around is just like, it's like, it's very, very similar to what they said, like the name of the band, you know, I mean, yeah. Mag Dillon taking something, you know, just, I mean, that's just it's taking the two of them and, together, and mashing them Jeez. together. Yeah, I think it's great. Well, I think um, you guys are going to get a lot of recognition for this one, man. Oh, yeah. This one's going to take doesn't you guys know what they're to another they coming. I oh. really feel like it's going to take you guys, like, to that next level. Now, I would like I just, to know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just hope the weather up there is cool because <laughs> it's really <laughs> hot here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now, see, let me explain this. All right. So in northern Michigan, we feel like, uh, you know, you get to about 80 degrees and that's hot. So, you know, like, is that is that hot for you guys or – Great. I'll take 80 degrees. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, shoot. 97. Okay. I hope you get Done. ready. For, what about 65 degrees? Because it could be it freaking could be cold. That, you yeah. never know. This is northern Michigan. Oh. Yeah, that would be perfect if you were out jamming and it got cool like that. It would be like being in air conditioning while you're jam, jamming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up on stage. So what you want I was asking. Uh, yeah, I like to always pick the brains of some of the bands and like get to know like the uh, the history of the bands, you know, and um, the uh, what, what, some of the uh, the influences that you have. Like uh, Susan, would uh, you for uh, for to start off? What, who is it that really influences you in uh, in music out there? I have so many different musical influences. It's kind of hard to answer. But like some of my favorite bands. Um, so I grew up with Nix. I love Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac. And then you have, I love Hell Yeah. Hell Yeah was one of my favorite bands, uh, which are obviously they're not, a, well, I think they're still a band. But yeah, Hell Yeah is one of my favorite. Hailstorm in this moment. Um, Corn. I'm trying, um, Fuck yeah, all the new metal bands, oh. the new metal era, yeah. Yep. I love it. Hey. That's Absolutely, yeah. Man. Hard for me to answer. Like, I, you know, I grew up on 70s rock country or whatever it was called. My uh-huh. parents. So, but I write really super heavy riffs for some reason. But man, I I love seventies rock. Me too, man. Yeah, yeah. Totally like we just went to the Doobie Brothers. I love the Doobie Brothers. Oh yeah, oh you do, dude. dude listen, MC5. man. What about MC Five back in the day? Oh, <laughs> right. You laugh, dude. Okay. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, when it comes to seventies rock, if you actually listen to Pawns, if you listen to Pawns, you'll hear. The, the 70s influence in the solo yeah it's he, right there on paper I, we actually we got the we got pawns loaded up we were going to be checking that out here or no we did listen to pawns we got lost my zen loaded up that we'll be uh checking out after we get done chatting with you if that's cool um but uh yeah, so yeah 70s rock actually no you, dude you, i've been on job sites you, you, doing construction since like 
the early 90s, right? That is and life. All that's yeah. all that's been ever played was like 70s classic rock. Let's well, KLC. It's like though. I grew up listening to that shit. Yeah, dude. that was that's been our local radio station. Yeah, absolutely. I mean that's all we have. That's, that's all, all that's been on job. If you've been on a job it. site, dude, you know but, 70s rock intimately. Um, me, I, I myself, I used to listen when I was a kid growing up. My parents would used to like listen to like Genesis, The Beatles, and oh, yeah. uh, Michael Jackson. You know, <laughs> now how the fuck did I start loving metal? I have no idea. You know, like where did that even fucking begin? It's <laughs> I don't know. ACDC. That was another one of my favorites. I meant I neglected to mention. My dad, yes, yes, ACDC Live. When my dad bought me the ACDC Live album, when back when BMG was a thing. Yeah. Did you guys get the BMG albums and all that shit back in the day? Did you guys do that? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. How, how much do you still owe? <laughs> I was an Aerosmith fan. I liked Aerosmith. <laughs> Say what? Oh yeah, Columbia House. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. another one. Probably owe them like at least forty five dollars or that something. That was all forgiven. You owe them back. nothing at this point. 45. You know we all owe them money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that that Columbia houses, places like that created DJs. They're like, I need five thousand songs from you, you know? Right, right. And they never paid it, but you know they made tons of money DJing, you know, creating and then, Napster and, and shit. Play, then they only play like eight songs every hour. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> joke, man. Well, anyway, man, this is going to be way better than anything that's yes, DJ. Yes, I can't this have, is I can't be... what, what night is it that you guys are going up? You guys, oh, no, uh, Nuke, we were just chatting with them, actually. You guys going up Friday night. Uh, gonna be yeah, we are. What, what time, Friday night? You know, we don't know. I don't know. Oh. They know. Maybe. What? What time is on Friday night, August 12th? In Michigan. I think we're roughly around nine. Nine? Because there's only three bands before us. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah, I think right. the Tharsis theory is playing that night. Nuke and the Night Shift is right before you guys. We ha- oh, actually I, we uh, interviewed those guys right before you guys came on. I don't know if you, well you're I don't know the internet's working oh. really crappy so you guys oh. probably didn't see the interview but what do you guys think about them Nuke and the Night okay. Shift? I just listen to those guys. Dude, are they're they really just good. the most punk rock you've ever seen or what? You know I love it. I <laughs> I'm not, I'm a punker. I love punk. Yeah, Me too. I like Pennywise. And yes. Fuck yeah, back Kennedy's. in the day. We already talked about all them, butthole surfers. I mean, they were on before us, so before you guys. So, yeah, all the old bands came <laughs> flying out. Uh, did you say Escoda? Escoda Rock Fest. That's what, that's what you guys are playing, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, now we're pronouncing it. I was pronouncing it wrong. Oh, you yeah. were? What were you, what <laughs> oh, were you, you calling call, it? How were you? Wait, wait! How are you saying it? We 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 live we live up north. We talk like Midwestern folks. I, 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 yeah, maybe we're saying uh, it wrong. Weird. Maybe we're Escada. saying it wrong. Escada. 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 Ooh, nice! I that's haven't heard a new that. one. Yeah, that's a new Ooh, one. Here, let me write that down. Escada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It sounds like a wine. I'll take the Escada, please. Escada. Yeah, I want the Escada. Yeah. <laughs> the water right. all over the top. The A. Escada. A. S-C-A-D-A. As- like that. Yeah. It's, it's Well, it's Ascota, and so now you like guys can pasta. say it right. Like Fuzzy, what's happening, yeah, Fuzzy? Um, well, and so, so tell us about this newest music video really quickly, too. I would like yeah, to know yeah, about this uh, the, the new music video here for uh, Lost My Son. <laughs> Um, uh, tell me about the song as well as the uh, music video. Does the, does, the, does the music video correlate with the uh, song as well? Absolutely. The song is, uh, you know, Lost My Dad about dealing with anxiety. So um, the song was written about Bruce's anxiety mostly <laughs> and me losing my zen trying to get him to be zenful. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Like she's constantly pulling, pulling me off of a ledge. Like, man, That's like I'm anxiety guy. Like I'm like doom and gloom. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I try not to be that way. I'm actually getting help for it right now. It's trying tough, to deal with that. Know, it's you know. a tough thing. I was in a band once in uh, 2003. Mm-hmm. We got signed, got the whole deal, and then we got dropped. Ah. So I worked really hard on my music for it to get just taken away from me very quick. <laughs> so I always see the future, and I'm like, ah, what if this happens? What if that happens? What yeah. if this happens? Right. So it's kind of hard for me, you know. Yes, yeah, it's it's tough to sit there and just have that you know uh, life of like what I try to do is I, I I'm always trying to live no no expectations you know live life with no expectations and sometimes well, you know when you're sometimes music, it comes around to burn me in the ass you know literally well, that's the thing but, when you're doing I mean, music for a living as well I mean 
uh, you know, musicians, they get a little bit more, you know, sketched out than the average person because there is a lot of big ups and downs. Oh, you're music. getting screwed there's, over by the fucking absolutely, venue. Or, there's always yeah. something to fuck you, you know what I mean? And, like, everyone's out to fuck you, really, in a lot of ways. You know, with contracts. Dude, I mean, you better know hieroglyphs and how to read that if you're going to sign a contract, or you need to be, like, uh, have an attorney or something. I mean, there's a lot of things to stress about, you know? There, there's huge ups and downs. Absolutely. So, so, you know, it's good to have people in your band that'll you know, pull you off the edge, dude, and, and help you with that, and and, you know, try to make it look like there's going to be a brighter day ahead because there is going to be. This Oxford Go to Rock Fest is huge, dude. This is a big fucking step for you. I mean, probably you guys, this isn't a big step for you guys. You guys are fucking on top of the world right now as far as I'm concerned anyway. <laughs> but it's going to be a big step for all of us to be able to have you guys there. And, uh, you know, nothing to stress out about, man. It's going to be an awesome show. Everyone's going to just love it. That's all I know. They're going to love it. Yeah, we're so excited. Yeah, we, we put 100% in. You know, I, I, I'm excited. I, I love going other places and playing music. Like, for, and we've Michigan. been to Michigan, so they love us, right? I love Michigan, man. Oh, like, yeah. We played there. It was, it was, that crowd was just amazing. Hell yeah, this dude. Is the, Everybody's uh, this, like going to be, dude, you'll be smelling barbecue while you're playing, dude. You'll be like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah it's it's going to be cool. I'm all about the food. Yeah, that's There'll great. be food. There's going to be plenty of food. In northern Michigan, what a beautiful area to be, you know. We are actually in Traverse City. And yeah. if you guys get your chance to make it up this way, I mean, it gets, the beauty just continues the farther you go, you know. It's, it's crazy. The the what, what's the name of the video, venue there? I forgot. Which one? Traverse. In Traverse City? Streeters Ground Zero? Back? Used to be. Used yeah. to be. Ground Zero. Ground Zero. Uh, not, was there with Not Point? Yeah, I think they did play it. Not, I think they did play at Streeters yeah, at one point. point. Yep, yep. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we played Ground Zero, but I can't remember if it was the UAB tour or it was with the Butcher Babies. I, could, I God, couldn't tell you exactly, yeah, but that venue either. is actually gone now. So Yeah, that it, venue it, has it, become a church now. People it's a uh, church. go there every it's single It's like a Sunday. mega church, yeah, you know, a, where people are. It's a fucking like, mega church. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it. <laughs> Like, I they mean, got, but the owner, I mean, we, guy, we know yeah. the owner, so he made off Scott. He, he was like, fuck yeah, yeah dude, a, I'll take your fucking money. He's got a huge money. mansion I'm, on he, East He's Bay. got a nice place now, dude. He's living it up, dude. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he lives on the, yeah, yeah, he's got a good crowd. So anyway, yeah, man, good, uh, it's, yeah, at least we can get you guys up to uh, Skoda because that's pretty close, and that's a venue up there to go jam. Yeah, well, you know, and there's uh, there's other things that are coming up here in uh, in northern Michigan. I know that there's always venues that are opening up right now. There's a, there's a place that um, the okay. guys at uh, Studio Anatomy, they are working to uh, yeah. try to get a bigger place, like a, a really place. fucking huge place. So. That that there's, could be super. I mean, if that if that works out, I there's mean, what encore two o what is it encore two o one? Yep, yeah, that's, that's a little that's a little venue downtown above um, Spark Steakhouse. But you can't really. Feel, I mean, we're talking like these guys. Be, I mean, this I know, band does huge, not be long playing in yeah, front of a hundred people. This is right. a fucking band I that should be. Right. You know, I mean, I'm we're telling talking. them the venues we got here, fucker. Okay, there's one or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, you guys there are too way too. way too big for that. You guys are like a national act. So yeah, yeah, you guys belong. The big bills, man, and I can't wait to see you guys, man. Uh, August twelfth. This is uh, when when Mag Dillon. This is the band right here, man. Dude, this absolutely. is them, dude. Yeah. Mag Dillon. We yeah. Love you up here in Northern Michigan. Yeah. That's right. You guys, yes. Yeah, we guys, thank you, Rock, and we uh, we can't wait to see you up here and in, uh, in uh, Oskoda, in uh, up here in. Uh, <laughs> what do they call it? I oh I Oskoda or Oskoda Oskoda Tostada. Is <laughs> coming up to Tostada. It's gonna be a good fucking time. It's, uh, it, we're, we're gonna check out your uh, your music video for uh, 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 yeah. the uh, um, blah, 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 Lost My Zen, and um, uh, we we just can't wait to have you guys up here. Can't wait to have you guys up here in our state, man. Yeah, it should be awesome, guys. Thank you. No, thank yes, you, man. Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful evening, man. We'll talk more between now and then. Yes. Peace. Oh, here's the oh, the puppy. Oh, 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 oh puppy. The one. Oh, oh, there's a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> It's cute. She's such an adorable little All puppy. Right. I love Have it. Have a great night, guys. <laughs> Have a good one. Peace. See ya. All right, there you go, everybody. There was uh, that was uh, Mag Dillon right there, the band Mag Dillon, and uh, what, sitting down there in Virginia you guys right now. Hear this, dude. I love I love that about the internet. What, that's the one thing that I do like about the internet is we're able to converse about, uh, on things, but uh, uploading seems to fucking suck a dick. And uh, when it, when it comes to the internet right now, I forgot if you're, to tell him I was going to Myrtle Beach. And that oh yeah, you're going to Myrtle Beach. You're, you're gonna be right down the road. Not right down the road. Right down not, the road. Tell me, you was. God, my brother John. But John's got my boat. John's got your boat. 
I'll take Get care of it. You guys go out on the boat. Um, let's watch this video. Let's man. watch this music video. Zen. Then we're gonna we're gonna chat with uh we're gonna chat with uh oh, oh, shit I forgot your name again. Ace. John. Ace. John. Charlie. Uh, John. Craig. Ace. <laughs> Ricky. Ricky Charlie. Bobby. Ricky. Ricky. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll chat with him in just a few as well as a uh, another music video from uh, the Trumpster if you haven't seen it yet. What's the problem, okay? I'm in a little place. If you look behind me, this is out the window of my Airbnb in China, okay? China. 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 Okay. China. China. Okay. China! Oh, Rosie. Okay. It wasn't me, Rosie. Believe me, okay? Believe me, okay? If you really think about it, if you really think about it, 
It's the real deal. Okay, it's the real deal. That's right. Big league. Okay, here we go. Believe me when I say Sleepy Joe, okay? Mm -mm. Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. Didn't know I could sing Sleepy Joe. Believe me. Okay. Okay. He's a real loser, okay? He's bottom of the barrel. Believe me, okay? Have a good night. Oh, ye of little faith, huh? Oh, Sleepy Joe, he sat on a wall, okay? Oh, Sleepy Joe, he had a great fall. Great fall. I was there. I witnessed it. It was a terrible thing. All of his... Hinchman, his generals and them, they couldn't put old Sleepy Joe back together again. Believe me, when you see him talk, you'll know he's cracked in the head, okay? Oh, Sleepy Joe! Oh, Sleepy Joe! Where in the fuck have you been, you Sleepy Joe motherfucker? Here we go! Ha! That was my Jack Black impression, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, Trump, what I don't are you know. Doing here? You know, we've hit every side of making fun of everything on that thing. You know, yeah, I mean, absolutely. like that's making fun of Trump. That's making fun of. It's making fun Biden, of Biden. Making yeah, fun yeah. of Rosie. China. I don't know why China, but we're you know, I mean, we gotta, <laughs> just we gotta the typical things that the old That's something that Trump about. says. So, you yeah. know, Donald. That, the, the, the we don't DT. know what he's gonna say when he comes Touch on the show. Touch all bases. Make it an accurate. Uh, you never know what he's gonna say when he tweets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anything could come out. So, so yeah. It's, it's, Ace, I, what have you thought so far of the, uh, the, the the way that this is all working? I mean, uh, as far as, like, it's supposed to work a hell of a lot smoother with the Internet, but, I mean, uh, it, well, you've been behind the scenes now. I mean, I, everything seems to be Of course, yeah. Fine. It He's seems just... it seems like a very homey vibe as well as, like, it seems like we can be ourselves, but at the same time just kind of, like, you know, you get stuff done. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. There's lots I of toys think, to play with. Yeah, exactly. There's <laughs> you toys. get it seems like you could yes, touch base sir. on everything that you're interested in that you want to be interested in Absolutely. in the studio. Yeah. And I just like I've been enjoying what I've seen so far, especially because I've gotten to interview these two larger bands that I've never like I've never seen a lot of these like big acts and stuff yeah. like that have been a lot more focused on my local scene and things like that well, and so, these are these are bands that are up and coming you know I mean, oh this yeah is, you know i mean they, they um uh mag Dillon, as i said is a headlining Huge. a festival here real first time potential. they're headlining a festival like I mean, there's some real bands real that are there. the moment i heard the name like duke like when i heard them duke nuke in the night yeah nuke in the nuke night shift my fault i downloaded their first album and i was going to d download their last uh, like the last interview no album, yeah and my phone died so oh, <laughs> it's uh it's yeah. kind of unfortunate, but it's kind of my fault. Look at I, that though. I mean, that's the way that the podcast works, though. I mean, you know, of course, I can always go back to later. Talk to people, chat, chat, bring the bring the uh, the musicians a little bit closer to the fans and the potential fans out there. You just gain another fan. You know? Of course, Nuke, yeah. Nuke, Nuke, Nuke of the Knights have just, we just talking about that. You get yeah. to you get to talk to them and get to know how they think and things like that and yeah. like understand their points yeah. of views and um. You expose them to an entire new fan base, and if those people like the who they are, they might enjoy and might enjoy their music. Then they may have gained a new fan. Fuck yeah! It's Fuck a, yeah. it's it's it promotion as well as getting to enjoy yourself and get to know other people. And we we like to do a goofy little shit around here. Like oh I, yeah, I don't know if. Uh, you you were uh, watching any of the uh, the goofy things that we have done? When I first but... came up here, I was introduced to uh, Coke Hogan. Oh, have you like have you met the Coke? Oh, Hogan? I, yeah, okay. when you're, I was first about... when I was first introduced to Dan through Jesse, I was yeah. introduced to Coke Hogan and the entire like the act. Coaster. I've seen all the, the videos, and that Trump thing was like that's new to me, but it's still kind of funny. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So yeah, uh, right. there's always something new. That's what you'll find. Yeah, right, oh yeah, right, there's always yeah, something. There's new. something you got it around the corner. I keep mean, people fresh. Keep them on their time, toes. Right. Really. We always have crazy guests on our show. Oh, All yeah. kinds of characters show up here. You know, you got the go brother, and then you got, <laughs> I don't know. These guys are they're their own guys. They're not me though. Everyone oh yeah. Thinks it's me. These are their own guys. They come in here. They do their own thing. Man. They bring I their mean, own character and yeah, their personality. They, they, they're they're yeah, hilarious. Yeah. We love. I, I get to mind. produce all the things for Coke Hogan. It's kind of cool when he shows up because it's like, oh, cool. You know, I get to make another music video because <laughs> I know, always know that it's going to be something outlandish and just crazy. And it's uh, it's, it's fun to have to get eyes on you. Kind yeah, of yeah. And the Cokester helps our show out. A, oh, a yeah. Lot, you know, I mean, it helps to promote our uh, show. The Cokester's get, uh, on your shoulder. That was close. Uh, Hold on, Johnny. Take it easy. 
Yeah, it's right on your shoulder. Take it right over your shoulder. Hang on. Which way do I got to turn? Oh, he's right there, dude. He's on your shoulder. I'll lay back a little bit. Coaster's always there. He's always right there. He's always watching. He's always watching. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up tonight, man. We uh we we want to thank, of course, Mag Dylan as well as um. Uh, Nuke and the Night Shift, the band, uh, the guys that are, that were in the band that, that were able to get onto the uh, the live stream there. Um, thank you guys so much for uh, for chatting with a couple of fucking numb nuts like us. And, yeah, and, uh, and uh, we we uh, we can't see we can't wait to see what the uh, the Ascota Rock Fest. I mean, to see shoot. this thing start to fucking just Let's blow up. Go. I know that every year it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and they they just keep adding bigger names onto on it. So yeah, it is. It's uh, growing this huge. year will be fucking sweet, dude. I can't. I, I can't. I, sweet. Imagine next sweet. year too. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, next year. Yeah. Next I year mean, is gonna be wild. It's next year, Hate Breed is coming to town. Oh wow. No, I have no idea. That's not, <laughs> don't dude, don't quote me on that one. And um, thanks, Ace and Jesse, for coming on and hanging out yes, with us. Yes, Ace Jesse. Ace is, Ace is in the in the house as well as uh, Jesse right over here on the right. Uh, look, uh, I'm, I'm well, practically you know, touching uh, him. He's in the corner. Know, He's the old, in the timeout the corner. The man the J man. J man. J man. J man. He's hosted before. He has. He's he's hosted. Yeah. It's right. He's backed me up on the on the right over here before. So it's yeah. No, he's been. Always, always good to have you here, man, and uh, and, uh, Thanks, and to see man. you, see you guys coming around here, man. Please coming around more. I mean, it's oh yeah, the coolest place yeah. in the world. If anybody doesn't know it, then they just don't know it. That's <laughs> the deal. It is a fun I'll fucking area. You. It is very fun. I'll Thank God you. it's not burnt to the ground or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like could you imagine? Oof, all the these wrong. wires. It could happen. <laughs> it could. It could happen. <laughs> <laughs> One wrong wire, and it's all over. There's a lot of wires crossed around around here. You know, I don't know if you met these guys before, but I'll tell you, their wires are crossed. Crossed a little bit. Some of the you know wires. What I'm saying? Some crossed. of these wires up here. Yes, we got a couple are. cables loose. Yes. Um, and did you, you know when you were watching, you were getting uh, introduced uh, to Coke Hogan? What was the uh, song that you were introduced to? With, uh, oh, was it a song a or a I video? Or I, I, I think was it was one of the videos. I think one of the ones was a snowmobile video. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's um, right. snowmobile video. Because I think wasn't that the one that was produced on Grandma's farm? Yes, absolutely. I think that yeah, was yeah, the one. Yeah. Was out the there. snowmobile video. Oh, yeah. all over the place. acres out in Colt, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was Coke doing his Hogan own stunt. Yes, he was doing his own yes, stunts he was. that night. <laughs> he was for his... it well, Ace, I'm going to show you. I'm going to introduce you now to the, uh, the some of the, the vocal uh, <laughs> talents that Coke Hogan has. Yes, um, he's also a singer. He's also a performer. Oh, you guys, so the amazing. guy gets up on stage the whole nine all the yards. time, and uh, oh, yeah. next thing you know, it's just wild. But yeah, um, absolutely, here we go. Let's uh, wrap everything up. We're going to be talking right. to you guys next week. Uh, I'll be here. Dan won't be. He's going to Myrtle Beach. So, yeah. uh, but I'll be I'll here. I'll find Hopefully. someone to fill in for me. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> if the internet's working, I mean, maybe yeah. I'll come around. Yeah, if Jesse, you want to come around? I I'll mean, be here yeah. next week too. You can fucking come over, say what up. You guys can fill in for <laughs> me. We'll be here. I'll, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, Nate, I'm um, here though. Here, here you go. Here's uh, every Coke has its fizz by uh, uh, by uh, Coke Hogan. Yeah, every Coke. Has it was its stolen fizz. from him by Poison. Poison stole it from him. Is that what it was? Yeah. Actually, maybe I have it. Maybe I don't. Brett know. Michaels is Who his, knows? his real name's Michael Bretts. <laughs> Michael Bretts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. I, now I see what's happening. Oh, okay. Cokester's trying to. Cokester's the one doing this right now, or is it Michael Bretts? I don't know. Uh, Michael Bretts, probably. Oh, hold on, it's not even on Coke. here. It's Where's the fucking Bad video is. at? Is. <sighs> We can't just Sorry, wrap Coaster. things up like that. Coaster's going to show up, and he's going to be like, you didn't play the video, dude. Brother, where's my video at, bro? You didn't play brother, the video. I, I told you about it? every Coke that has its fist. Uh, some some reason it's not it there. Going. I don't know why. Just on a whole new level of rage from Coke Hogan. We'll find this. We got we because we can't just <laughs> yeah you know, we can't close. say we're gonna do Coke Hogan and then not have them. Right. Yeah. Here we we could go. play some Carl or something like that. But okay. there we go. Oh. Coke rests silent and still in the dead of the night Although we both lie close together I wish I felt that fizzy tingling inside Was it the way that I jerked when I set the can down? Was the ice in the glass not right? Though I tried not to shake you Though I tried and I guess that's why they say every coke has its fizz. Just like only the coaster can take out macho mist. Just like every Pepsi 
gonna taste like shit Every Coke has its fizz Brother! Yeah! For all the coaches, brother, you know what I'm saying? It's just a great way to tell you Love the Coke I heard my favorite song Playing on the side show, brother show, show. Yeah, the DJ said Coke life's a game and easy come and easy go And I wonder, does he know? Has he given that cat that twist? And I know he'd slam one here right now If I could get him to taste that shit somehow I guess every Coke has its fizz just like only the coaster can take out Macho Mist Just like every Pepsi kind of tastes like shit Every Coke has its fizz Brother! Uh, although it's been a while now I can still feel that burning pain like a lighter inside my throat leaves a scar, brother, scar that remains. ever happened to me. I know I could have saved a Coke that night if I'd have just known not to shake. Instead of chugging it up, you made your exit a different way. And now I heard that you drink with somebody new. And I could only handle a Coke or two oh, brother. When I heard it tore me up inside But this is <laughs> what you get when you clear the Coke night, brother Every Coke has its fizz Just like only the coaster Could take out macho mist Just like every Pepsi Kind of tastes like shit Brother, every Coke has its fists. Know what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah, dude.